I'm going to conduct the factor analysis. So I will select the dimension reduction, the factor, and I will put all the item statements into the variables box. Under the descriptives, I will select the KMO and Bilet Bartlett test of sphericity. So I'm going to explain to you what this um, analysis means, what the result um, is actually um, about. Then under the extraction, remember, uh, let's head over back to the, um, under the extraction, I want to extract based on the relationship because I want to establish the relationship between the factors. Okay, so because I want to establish the relationships between uh, the feedback orientation and customer satisfaction, so I want to use the oblique rotation in this case. So, um, so I'm going to I'm going to select the principal axis factoring, and then the eigenvalues. Again, uh, let's head over to the. Um, PowerPoint. So you can see the eigenvalue is set. If you find that there are a few latent factors with um, eigenvalues greater than one, it suggests that these factors are important in explaining overall satisfaction, right? And can serve as key aspects affecting customers' feedback. So, um, so I will select this and leave it at the eigenvalue of one. So, leaving it at the eigenvalue of one, I want to see the the factors, the number of factors that the, the analysis will be able to extract based on the information, based on the um, on the on the item statements, the measurement scales that I have developed. Okay. Now, under the rotation, remember, I want to base on the oblique rotation, the oblique rotation. Okay. Um, then I head over here again. I want to base it on the oblique rotation. Remember? So I want to see the relationship, the correlations. So I will select the promise and click continue. And then under the options, I want to sort by size. I'm going to demonstrate to you two ways of doing this. The, there are two ways you can present these in a paper, in a research article. And I'm going to demonstrate this by sorting by sizes, and I'm also going to demonstrate it without sorting by sizes. Okay, so you will see what the, you will um, know what you want to present. Now, um, I will suppress by absolute uh, suppress the coefficient. Now, the absolute value below. Now, look at this. So here, let us look at the trade hood once more. The threshold here, there are lots of literature uh, on the threshold that you can actually use, all right? Um, McCallum, et al., 1999, suggests that you can use, you can leave your threshold above 0 0.6 such that um, when you go further to perform other analysis, it will be able to do well, okay? They suggest that... Um, you can you can base on 0 0.55 0 0.45 0 0.32 and so on and so forth but in this particular case i have found that if i base my absolute value below 0 0.5 if i go on to perform a confirmatory factor analysis in in emas i would be able the whole the whole factors will be able to load properly okay so in course of this uh, um tutorial i'm going to encourage you to sit back as as i demonstrate these so i will select okay then i will i will run the analysis so now uh let's head over to explaining this the kmo test of um, sample adequacy shows that i have adequate adequate sample size uh, if you go to the uh the spss i have I have 181 uh, respondents that filled or completed this questionnaire, right? So, so it, it, it tried to explain to me that it's, this is quite okay. The KMO test below 0 0.5 shows that the sampling adequacy is not really um, um, okay. So then the Bartlett test of sphericity, um, Normally, we expect to have a statistically significant value here. The next part that we want to look at is the commonalities. 
Now, under the commonalities, I want you to look at this part again. It said, this is like understanding how much each feedback metric shares with the common factors. It helps you to see how much of the individual feedback scores are explained by the underlying factors, okay? So here, we want to look at um, the way the commonalities are loading, all right? I want to be sure that they are loading above 0 0.3. Then the next part that we want to see is the total variance explained. So this is where you have the factors. So this table shows us that we have four factors because we are interested in the value greater than one. Remember, let's go back to this point, the eigenvalues. Okay. The eigenvalue is said if, if you find the I, that there are a few latent factors with eigenvalues greater than one. It suggests that these factors are important in explaining overall satisfaction and can serve as key aspects affecting customer satisfaction or customer feedback. Now, look at that. If you come to the SPSS, so we have eigenvalue greater than one. Remember, in the factor analysis, um, we set it based on the eigenvalue of greater than one. That is greater than one. Look at that. Okay, so you can see that the that um, factors one, two, three, and four are greater than one, but factors five and downwards are less than one. So we are not interested in the from the fifth down to the twentieth. And then um, you can see that um, the total variance explained is 64.731, okay? So which is quite good. Uh, that is 64.7% explained, uh, totally explained in the analysis. So, but in this case, we are interested in the pattern matrix. So um, now look at the pattern matrix. So that will show you that wow that's pretty good so under the pattern matrix the result so you can see that factor one is the css so let me go to um where i have the feedback so the css is customer support satisfaction so this is this is the customer support satisfaction factor. So which means that the items, the whole items loaded pretty well. Uh, none of the item uh, loaded below 0 0.5, the absolute value below 0 0.5. Remember, the absolute value below 0 0.5, none loaded below this. And then the this, these values, 0 0.880, 0 0.858, 855.74 as you can see um, um, as they loaded on their own factors shows how closely how closely the item statements are to the factor now uh, let me probably copy this and put in a, in a Microsoft Word and and so I can explain this clearly here so So this is customer satisfaction here. So this is customer satisfaction. And then the two, factor two is under factor two, we have the PE, that is PE. Let us look at the PE, product experience PE. There are six items, item one, to six and so you can see that these are item uh, PE to six okay so these are the factor two so I will name that product experience okay and then this 0 0.913 shows that the item P4 the item statement P4 is mostly the most related to product experience so let's read the exercise kit 
provide a complete workout experience for me. So this means that this particular item, the respondents show that this is the response is the analysis shows that uh, this is the most closely related uh, item statements to this uh, measurement scale here that is why it's having a very high correlation with the item statement all right uh, with the measurement with the measurement scale sorry so you can see that um, same with uh, same with item statement number three um, item statement number three on that pe said i easily set up the exercise kit due to the clear instructions in the manual so as as the as the correlations the 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 relationships are closely related that is how the the results we sort them okay by the size of the relationships now you can see under the cs the cs means uh, let's look at the cs the cs means that i have uh, that is customer satisfaction so the cs3 means that um the cs3 that is one to the third one here he said i would enthusiastically recommend recommend the exercise kit to others seeking an effective fitness solution so um you can see that vfm one to four the vfm one to four are this okay and the, let's see the one that is mostly uh, related to the uh, um, to the statement to the uh, factor uh, that is vfm1 so this is value for money value for money okay so the the fourth one is uh, cs that is customer oh sat is Faction. So in that case, I'm going to put this one customer um, support satisfaction. So this is customer support satisfaction. Okay. 